As you know, as business owners, we have five common things that we have to worry about. We have to worry about our clients. We have to worry about promoting our business to make it grow. We certainly have to worry about the people who work for us. And we have to make sure we're kept abreast and up to date by educating ourselves. Now we're going to show how we can do all these things using Google Calendar. One of the common responsibilities is planning. This is something we all have to do. We have to figure out what we're going to do every day to move our business forward. What you see here is that we've uh, allowed a whole hour for planning, reviewing the business and planning the next day. You may want more time or not need as much, uh, but it's something that needs to occur every day. So let's talk about how we do planning and put it on Google Calendar. I'm going to click right on it, and this opens the page where you can put in the data for it. You can see we put the, the name of this as Review Business and Plan Next Day. We've indicated the date, in this case the 4th, and we've allotted the time from 6 to 7. This is something daily. And make sure it's in the right time zone and since this is something we want to repeat uh, we've checked the, the the repeat box and it gives you several options if you click on edit it shows that you can repeat every day or you can repeat every monday wednesday friday or every tuesday and thursday we've chosen every day because planning is essential and important to do We've also uh, decided that this is ongoing, so it never ends. But you could, of course, give it a start and a stop time. But planning is so essential, we decided to never let that end. And once you're satisfied with this information, you just click the Done button, and the information is recorded. We can also indicate where we want to do this. We have decided to do it in our office. You can decide to do it wherever you think it's appropriate. We could also set up a video call if that's something we want to do. We decided which calendar to put it in, and it's in our planning calendar. We also gave it a description. This is to take a look at the next week's activities and look for poss possible areas where we can plan and improve the business. We can color code this, and in this case, we have colored that this light blue. It's important to color code all these activities so you can tell at a glance uh, what is on your calendar. We have options to show me as either available or busy. Since planning is so essential, we've indicated that we're busy so that we're not interrupted by people who may try to reach us. When we're happy with this information, we click sa save. And it appears as we have instructed in our calendar. As you watch what I do to put the planning section on Google Calendar, understand that everything I do for reoccurring events is going to be repeated for every other calendar. Uh, and a common responsibility you put onto Google Calendar. So I'm going to take considerable time with this. Let's click on review business and plan next step. And it opens a page where you can see we've given it that title, review business, plan next day. We've indicated the date, we've indicated the time, and the time zone that's appropriate. We're going to do this on a repeat basis. So we've checked the box repeat, and you can edit what you mean by that. You can repeat every weekday, Monday to Friday, or you can repeat every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Tuesday, and Thursday, weekly, monthly, or yearly. We've chosen every weekday, Monday to Friday. You can choose additional information. We have the start. It starts on this particular day. Since this is something that will repeat, we've marked never ending. You can, however, mark 
uh, the exact time you want it to start and when you want it to stop. But this is a key function of our business planning, so it's never ending. Once you're happy with this, you just click on done and the inf information is recorded on your planning sheet. You also can indicate where you want this to happen. We've indicated month that it will happen in the office. We put it on a calendar that is for planning. You could have put it on other calendars. We've put it on planning. We've given it a description too. Take a look at next week's activities and look for possible areas where we can plan and improve the business. We have also given it a color. It's important that you color code every one of these common responsibilities so you can see at a glance which one you are uh, focusing on. We've decided to show ourselves as busy rather than available because planning is so essential. We don't want to be interrupted. So we show ourselves as busy. And when we're totally comfortable with the information in this, this planning sheet, we just click Save, and the information appears on Google Calendar. Remember that that same process will be repeated uh, for every reoccurring um, responsibility you put on Google Calendar. And you can watch this recording uh, as often as you need to, to understand how that process works. We've also color coded pink for clients and the other col colors for clients, as well as another color for personal development and education. Um, and that's essentially it. Now we've shown you how to, the process works by putting planning, reviewing the business and planning the next day uh, on Google Calendar. But supposing you just wanted to see one of the calendars, you want a concentrated focused look at something. Let's say you want to look at the clients in your business. You go over to clients and click on the down arrow and go up to say display only this calendar. You click on it and you see everything you have on cl clients um, scheduled for the week. If you want to see how that compares to another calendar, you such as like marketing or promotion, you just click on it and that appears. That gives you a chance to see client activity in relationship to your marketing and promotion activity. You can also decide to share uh, calendars with members of your team, but you may not want to share everything. Like you may not want the team to see your education and personal calendar. You can decide to share some, all, or just a little bit of those calendars. Let me illustrate that. I'm going to put planning back and I'm going to put education back as well as employee and contracts. Now I would like to share this with, with members of my team, but I don't want to share my education and personal training calendar. So I will eliminate that it's taken away and can share the rest of it.